Hi everyone! Today's art project is based on the book Owl Babies, written by Martin Waddle and illustrated by Patrick Benson. You'll need some black paper, brown paper, white paint, glue, scissors and some goggly eyes. Start your project by making the branch that the owls sit on. I do this by tearing the paper just so that it gives it a more natural look. Tear a couple of branches and play with the sizes so that you're happy with them. Before you stick your branches down, try scrumpling them up in your hand so that it gives the branch texture and the branch looks natural and gnarled. When you're arranging your branches, try to arrange them in such a way that they look like one big branch going off into smaller branches. You can play around a little bit with this until you're happy with the arrangement. To make your branch even more natural looking and to add texture to your branch, we're going to draw the grains of the wood onto the branch. We're going to do this by using a felt tip pen or a black permanent marker. Have a look at these pictures of wood grain just to give you an idea of the type of texture you're looking for. The lines are wiggly and they form knots in the wood. Have some fun making your pattern on your branch. When you've finished your branch, it's time to start painting our owl babies and for this we need some white acrylic paint. Pour some white paint into a small dish. Take your paintbrush and dab it into the white paint and then onto your black paper at the top of the tree branch. Dab several times onto the paper with the paintbrush to start making the shape of a fluffy baby owl. Try not to have too much paint on your paintbrush. By having a little bit of paint, you achieve the effect of the fluffiness of the baby owls. Keep going until you've got three fluffy, fat baby owls sitting on your tree branch. While your paint is drying, you can work on the beaks and the eyes of your owls. Start by making the beaks by cutting three little triangles out of some orange paper. Put them to one side and start to make your eyes. Now I'm going to make my eyes by cutting out six circles out of brown cardboard. You can actually use the same brown cardboard or paper that you used to make the tree branch. Start by drawing the eyes so that you get them more or less the same size. When you're happy with them, you can cut them out. The next step is to use goggly eyes and stick the goggly eyes into the middle of the brown pieces of cardboard. Do this to each one until you have six goggly eyes all looking back at you. If you don't have these eyes at home, you can make eyes, they just won't move. You can do this by cutting out circles of white paper and colouring in the middle of the eye using a black felt tip pen. You can also use white round stickers and colour the middle of the stickers in. Either way, they'll still have the same effect. Now that our owl babies are dry, we can start to put on the eyes and the beaks. Pop a little bit of glue onto the back of each eye and stick them in the middle of the owl baby's face. When I'm sticking my eyes down, I like to stick them so that they are touching each other. But you can put them slightly apart if you want to.
Now it's time for the beaks. Take your orange triangles and stick them in between the two eyes with the pointy bit facing downwards. As you're doing it, you'll soon see your little owls starting to have some character. They do look sweet, don't they? And there we have our three little owl babies. Now we can work on our background. I like to use gold star stickers to do this as it gives it a little bit of a magical feel in the night sky. Now if you don't have these stickers at home, that's okay. You can use white paint and you can just do little white dots all around the background. It'll have the same effect. When you've finished your night sky, you can add some leaves to the branches of your trees. I've done this using oil pastel, but if you wanted to, you could use green cardboard as well. And there we have our sweet little owl baby sitting on the tree. If you've enjoyed this project, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Keep being creative!